Pittock Mansion has experienced many ghost sightings and strange occurrences over the years, making it one of Oregon's most haunted locations. From ghostly figures seen moving furniture around, to the smell of roses that is thought to be the lady of the house, Georgiana Pittock, welcoming new guests years after she died. So let's explore the history of what makes this place as haunted as it seems to be. Henry Pittock was a successful publisher and newspaper editor who decided he wanted to build a property that would reflect his fine standing in the community, a place to entertain and show off his accomplishments. So in 1909, the construction began, but due to its artistic design, took much longer than expected to finish. It had Tinino sandstone blocks, hand-picked by San Francisco architect Edward Folks, and was built in French Renaissance style. By the time it was completed in 1914, the 46-room mansion had all the modern features a home could want, from intercoms, an elevator, specialty lighting, and a fridge fit for a restaurant, to name a few. The design of the property was so successful, many people in the upper class circles wanted folks to work on projects for them. Henry and Georgiana loved to entertain in their new home, becoming a high class hangout for Portland's elite. The grounds had wonderful gardens that were admired by many, with Georgiana often taking strolls around the grounds to admire the roses that she loved. In her life, her love for flowers was so great that she even helped to set up Portland's Rose Society, holding its first ever rose show in 1889, leading to the famous Rose Festival that still goes on to this day. Henry and Georgiana's life together seemed truly blessed, with not only a loving relationship and family, but success in the community. The only scandal that took place in their time was when a Portland City Council member named Will Daly took offence to Henry Pittock, accusing him of inappropriately using funds to build a water line that was deemed a personal construction project. Unfortunately for Daly, Pittock had all the evidence he needed to prove that he had done nothing wrong, and with running a newspaper, took full advantage of airing his side of the dispute to his many readers. It seems many turned against Daly after this, resulting in his political career ending abruptly. Sadly, in 1918, Georgiana died at the age of 72, leaving Henry so heartbroken that he followed her no more than a year later. As you would expect, the mansion cost a lot to run and maintain, and by 1958, the Pittock grandsons Eric Ladd and Peter Gantenbein were struggling to keep up with things, so decided to sell the property. For years, the building was left to slowly decay, until 1962 when the Columbus Day storm hit Oregon, resulting in damage to the Pittock mansion. The young men didn't feel they had any other option but to tear the building down. But then something miraculous happened. The community came together to save the property that by this point had become a landmark and important to the locals. They raised $75,000 in just three months to save the mansion, and then the city of Portland purchased the building for $225,000, while also making it an historic site. By 1965, Pittock Mansion opened to the public, soon becoming a favourite place to visit with many Portlanders. But since the 1960s, Visitors and staff at Pittock Mansion have described paranormal activity taking place that even the strongest sceptic can't seem to disprove. Many assume it to be the loving Pittock couple, Henry and Georgiana, who find themselves unable to leave their home, even in death. One of the most reported incidents occurs in the upper rooms of the property. Guests will be walking around and then suddenly get hit with an overwhelming scent of roses. As you can imagine, people believe this to be coming from Georgiana due to her love of the flower. But while many feel surprised at the sudden aroma, they all mention that it left them feeling warm inside, like they were welcomed to the home. It would also seem that the couple like to keep up with what's going on at the property too, with objects being moved about. A portrait of Henry Pittock has been physically seen moving around on the wall as if being repositioned by unseen hands. If that's not scary enough for you, many people have also seen the ghostly forms of the couple moving furniture, pictures and other decor from one room to another. Are they trying to put things back to how they like it? Who knows, but it would certainly be unsettling to see. 
And while the interior designer might feel slightly offended that the spirits prefer things done differently, one visitor was shocked to witness firsthand just how helpful the Pittock Mansion ghosts can be. You see, one afternoon, a lady visiting the property heard a crash as if something had fallen from the wall. Curious to discover what had happened, she went off to investigate the noise and found a woman dressed in a long gown picking a portrait up off the floor. As you can imagine, the noise also drew the attention of staff working that day. When one employee came up to the troubled lady to ask if she was okay, she tried to explain what she'd seen, even pointing out the lady to her. But by this point, the woman in the long dress had vanished. But where to and how? The only exit was to walk by the woman who was at this point staring aghast, shocked that she was alone. How do you think these experiences would have made you feel? I think they seem like pleasant interactions as the couple are still welcoming guests to their home as they did long ago and appear to be going about their day as normal. And it seems that the Pittock couple are not the only ones. You see, outside, near the northern part of the building, the heavy sounds of a shovel can be heard hitting the ground. It is believed by the staff that the noise is coming from an old groundskeeper who used to work for the Pittocks and sadly died at the mansion. It would seem that many people who came into contact with the property fell in love with it and never wanted to leave. Throughout the mansion, there are other traces of paranormal activity taking place too, like disembodied footsteps, which can happen at all hours of the day or night, and the opening and slamming closed of windows too. Late one evening, a member of staff was going about the property, making sure people had left and turning off the lights in each room. But when she got downstairs and was just about to leave, something astonishing happened. Every single one of the lights in the mansion came back on all at once. Did somebody want to stay reading in their library or have more things to move around perhaps? I'm sure it must have been quite a startling experience. Over the years, the mansion has been used by Hollywood for its glamour, appearing in numerous movies. In 1977, it appeared in the movie First Love, starring William Catt and Susan Key. And in more recent years, the 1993 movie Body of Evidence, starring Madonna and Willem Dafoe. It just goes to show that the Pittock Mansion's beauty is one for the ages, still inspiring people with its grace. Have you visited Pittock Mansion? Did you smell the aroma of roses as you explored inside? Or maybe you felt that someone was watching you as you walked around, making sure you didn't move anything. Whatever you experienced, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Until next time, dissectors, stay safe out there.